What's going on everybody? It's your artist, your favorite artist, on the loose the artist, back at you with another custom piece. This right here we have is a scooter from my little homie Jared Rivera. He's one of his favorite superheroes done on the scooter, which is the Flash. Anybody knows the Flash, he's pretty much the fastest superhero next to Superman. His color waves are red and yellow. Uh, so the scooter he gave me is white, it has blue pads. So we're gonna leave the blue pads, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this whole thing red. We're gonna give it yellow lightning bolts, the same as Flash, starting from the middle and going out. And on the bottom, I'm actually gonna do a painting of Flash running. What I'm gonna do is kind of go play by play and step by step when it comes to this custom piece. On the other ones, I just kind of painted. When I do my custom paint job, depending on pricing, I actually take it apart, sand it down, the whole nine. This one, I'm just gonna, we taped it up, as you can see here, taped up the lights, taped up the pads, actually put some plastic around the wheels so we don't get the paint uh, that we spray on the extra parts. Instead of sanding it down, just gonna spray it with the uh, aerosol can. So if you guys wanna do this at home, you can do this at home. Well, I'm excited and I hope you're excited. Let's go. We're gonna start off on this with a Montana spray can. You don't have to use Montana, you could use whatever spray can works for you. These are somewhat expensive, but I do use these on murals when I do big paintings. So I have a lot of these laying around, but we're gonna use a red, a shock red. Make sure to shape your spray can and then spray a little over here, over there, away from it on an extra sheet of paper to make sure that it's spraying good and clear. And then we're gonna just spray about uh, eight inches away. Make sure not to stay in one place too long because you're gonna get dripping. You don't want dripping, you want a nice overlay and then we're gonna do a second overlay. Need be, depending on under base, we do a third overlay. But for right now, we're just gonna do light spraying so that the paint just sticks on there. You, your fingers, don't don't for you beginners, try not to rush the job. Take your time and make sure that the paint is fully uh, dry and sealed before you hit it with a second base. Okay, so we have the first layer down. Give it some time to dry. You can give it about half an hour to an hour to two hours, depending on how damp it is in the room. Then you could go back and hit it with another layer. All right, guys, now that the, uh, the paint has dried on this scooter, we are going to now add the airbrush effect. I'm gonna put white, reduced white, so that it thins it out into my airbrush. And then from there, I'm going to start uh, painting. I'm gonna give it a lightning effect. So we're gonna start from one section, make it kind of really glow. And then from there, just far away, it's kind of scattered. Lightning doesn't have any correct motion. It just has a scattered effect, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now that we put that layer white, it's like a lot right now, it's overwhelming. We're gonna put a sharper layer white in it, thinner line, so it looks like that bright power electricity. And then we're gonna give it an orange yellow glow. We're gonna put yellow and orange in to give it that sports gold. And then we're gonna go over it again in white to give it sharp, distinct lightning bolt look. And then a little bit more yellow overlay to give it that real electrical look. But we want it to look like the flash. So we don't want it to be blue electric. We want it to be more like a yellow electricity. All right, so we're gonna go on with the, uh, with the white now.
now that we did the top of the scooter and everything was really cool with the uh, electricity and the bolts we're going to do the bottom and the bottom is actually going to have flash running so i'm going to have him running this way and maybe a little electricity flying off of him on the other side from the perspective i'm going to uh, lightly sketch with a thin brush i have different sizes really the sizes depend on your skill ability and you know, just pretty much what you want to do. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's your own art style. The background is already the base color. So we're going to keep the base color, the red or flash. And we're just going to outline it in some maroon and some blacks and then some of that yellow electricity and some white highlights. So it really gives that look that we're going for. I'm going to just use the airbrush paints that I use, wicked colors or air colors or whatnot and um, I'm going to paint it on lightly and then I'll use some, the airbrush just to give it a little mist so I'm going to go back and forth with the paintbrush and the airbrush you're going to need some uh, drawing skill set to do stuff like this but with practice you'll, uh, you'll learn very easily Cockpit Tangles version to the end.